Good morning, everyone. It's my honor to speak here. My name is Hao Jingyong, and I'm a student come from the K level of Optic Electronic Technology and System, Chongqing University, China. Today, I'm very glad to share my latest work about a new cross-domain sound event detection method. The title of my topic is Two-Stage Domain Adaptation for Sound Event Detection. My presentation will include these four parties. Firstly, I will introduce the background of our research. Sound Event Detection System I'm to detect the onset and the offset of sound events and identify event categories. So, to train a state-of-art SED system are usually highly data-hungry and labor cost. Luckily, we can use computer technology to get high-quality audio sequence. By this way, we can get a dataset with frame-level labor with very little labor cost. However, this statistic distribution between synthetic audio and real audio has a larger, larger domain difference, which greatly reduces the performance of the SED model train, train when applied to real world. For instance, years, there are many methods to solve cross-domain SED challenge. Semester supervised learning is the most commonly used method to solve this problem. There is a teacher model, which is the integration of student model. Teacher model can build the student model to obtain smooth output on unlabeled data through training data with noise. Tri training is the representative of pseudo-label learning. It has the three class fear to, uh, and can generate high confident pseudo-label for the third class fear through the other two. Data argumentation can generate virtual data to increase the generalization performance of SED model. A mix of method of the samples can be demonstrated use equation 1 and equation 2. By weighting average the result of multiple uh, model, model confusion can reduce the SED model's variance and enhance the confidence of predictions. However, this method does not directly fit the difference of the, distrib the distribution between different domains. We propose a two-stage domain adaptation method to directly feed the domain difference between synthetic audio and the real audio. Now, let me introduce our method. In DK's 2019 task 4, sound event detection in domestic environments. There are three kinds of data are provided to train SED model. Strong labeled synthetic audio, weak labeled real audio, and unlabeled real audio. We regard synthetic audio as source domain. Weak labeled and unlabeled real audio as target domain. We train SED model by strongly supervised learning on source domain. And a two-stage domain adaptation method is used to adapt this model to align the distribution between synthetic and real audio, so that we can get a robust SED model under the real world. This figure shows in detail of 
how we use weak labeled real audio sample in the first stage. In this stage, parameter of SCD model trained on synthetic audio are updated with weakly, lab, weakly supervised learning on weak labeled real audio. Such a weak labeled supervised learning can be regarded as a model transfer from source domain to, dark, to target domain. But weak labeled supervised learning provides a adapt provide an adaptation on clap level. And SED is a frame level classification task. So only basis method cannot guarantee that the transformed model is suitable for sound event detection task in real world. So we invest so we investigate a frame level domain adaptation using adversarial learning in the second stage. As shown in figure three, the feature map of each the feature map of each frame of source domain and target domain samples are fed into a domain classifier to make frame level decision whether they are come from synthetic or real. The feature extractor and domain classifier are trained in an adversarial manner. We use grid reverse layer to realize adversarial learning. The grid reverse layer's performance can be shown in equations 3 and 4. Grid reverse layer can identify transfer the feature map fed into domain classification uh, feed to domain classifier during forward propagation and the gate is reversed by change its sign when back propagation. As a result, the feature extractor and the domain classifier are optimized in a reversed direction. Domain classifier as a detector to learn the difference between source domain and target domain in frame label and the feature is tracked to learn domain in advanced feature to full domain classifier. This figure is the overall architecture of our proposed two stage domain adaptation method. We use two step CNN block in CNN model. In the first block, we use layer normalization to replace commonly used batch normalization. Layer normalization is a single simple normalization, which is suitable for SED task. And the second block is a residual structure. Finally, a clap label consistent regularization between the classification output of CNN and CRNN is used to improve the ability of feature extraction of CNN model. Based on this, the CNN layers of feature extractor can obtain the global receptor field of audio samples and can grab more feature uh, and can grab more feature representation of the whole audio. In this third part, we will show the experiment, experiment detail and uh, result of our method. We use DK's 2019 task force dataset to show our data, to show our method and generalize our SED model on validation dataset and evolution dataset. Like others. We extract a spectrogram as the input of SCD model. We build an experiment to compare our two-stage domain adaptation method 
with our backbone CRN. Everyone's score is the bad average of perception and recall, which can effectively measure the performance of SED model in the case of unbalanced data. Table 1 lists the F1 score, deletion rate, insertion rates of our backbone CRNN and our two-stage domain adaptation method. The overall F1 score of two-stage domain adaptation method are 19% 19 and 23.2% higher on validation dataset and evolution dataset than backbone. It is our view that the performance of uh, two-stage domain adaptation method significantly improve SDD system. From the result of table 1, we can also see that cat and dog has have the most significant improvement. It is generally known that Biological sound events and uh, biolo it, is general, it is generally known that biological sound events are usually rich diversity. When training data is limited, it is difficult for neural network to learn the diversity of biological sound events. To further illustrate the performance of our two-stage domain adaptation method, we compare the sound event detection result with the several competitors. We can see that our method have much higher F1 score on both test dataset. So, our method can better improve the quality of cross-domain SED in real world. In the last part, we can have the conclusion that our method solve, the, solve some challenge in cross-domain sound event detection. Our two-stage two domain adaptation method can effectively transfer the SED model trained uh, on synthetic audio to real world. In the future work, we will explore it we will explore weak labeled audio and uh, improve frame level domain adaptation through clip level adaptation and explore more effective network structure to further improve CRNN network's performance. Very thanks for your attention and have a good day.